hello viewers welcome back so in previous lecture we have uh, studied about the orographic zones of pakistan and that was the five major orographic zones in pakistan number one is karakorum and high himalaya and number two is lesser himalaya and number three is suleiman kitar mountain range in number four there are makran or clan and number five is the offshore area of pakistan so that was the first lecture of the second part of the subject geology of pakistan uh, which is the tectonics and today uh, now i am going to teach about the second lecture and the topic of the second lecture is kohat potwar region so basically these are the two regions potwar and kohat in potwar region there are potwar plateau and uh, there are two areas which is jhelum and kalabag so jhelum and kalabag are the areas which is in the uh, potwar plateau and between jhelum and kalabag there are strike slip faults in point of the potwar plateau is that between jhelum and kalabag area the faults are strike slip fault and the plate is moving toward the southward direction or we can uh, say that the plate moving toward southward direction after potwar plateau there are surghar range in surghar range there are avartan fold and to the north of the potwar plateau there are northern folded zone and so remember that to the north of the potwar plateau the another important point is that there are folded zone which is called northern folded zone of potwar plateau as uh, i have discussed about a salt range formation so the salt range formation is also there and uh, the thickness of the salt range in the southward direction is thick and in northern direction it is thin you say that the salt range formation is thicker in the southward direction and thinner in the north northern direction and as i have uh, told you that in potwar region there are strike slip fault and these strike slip fault are between the jhelum and kalabag fault so the kalabag is a dextral fault and the jhelum is a sinistral fault and as a geologist you know that these both terminologies dextral and sinistral and these terminologies used in the strike slip faults so kalabag is a dextral and jhelum is a sinistral strike slip fault also there are uh, n h l faults in the strike slip faults are present there so remember that the type of folds uh, in a strike slip fold are and echelon folds after that there are the uh, in east west direction or uh, east west oriented structures in kohat area kohat is a area as i have told in the beginning of the lecture the second area after potwar so we have discussed about the potwar and now we will discuss about the kohat area so there are in east west oriented structures are present in kohat area and uh, another dominant feature of the kohat area is eocene salt which is uh, present in the kohat area and it is called eocene salt and there are uh, normal fault uh, which are present in the basement of salt range so basement fault are present there and which are the parallel to the salt range formation or we have uh, or we can say that basement faults are present in parallel to the salt range and these basement faults are normal faults due to the plate bedding these faults are normal faults so we can conclude that there are parallel to the salt range formation basement faults are present and these faults are the normal faults due to the plate bedding and these normal faults are working as a ramp yes so we can uh, identify these or we can identified or we can uh, identifying these rocks like or uh, uh, faults like a normal fault so according to my knowledge these faults are normal fault and working as a ramp in the salt range or uh, parallel to the salt range formation then there are a person uh, their name is abbasi who is from uh, peshawar university which is a well known university in pakistan according to uh, or about the study of geology 
so he says that there are the duplex structure in the cohort region so according to abbasi from university of peshawar he said that there are duplex structure in the cohort region and according to the kazmi and jan the kazmi and jan are the another geologist and who written the tectonics of pakistan and uh, the, their book name is uh, i think uh, geology or tectonics of pakistan and according to the kazmi and jan he said there flower structures in cohort region so there are uh, uh, two controversial theories about it according to abbasi there are duplex structure in cohort region and according to kazmi jan uh, there are flower structure in cohort region and after that there are in the uh, north of islamabad uh, there are siwali group as we have studied about siwali group in the previous lecture in the part of stratigraphy so in the north of islamabad or we can say in siwali group there are mari fault and due to the uh, name of the locality or the name of the city is mari so the fault is also called mari fault and the type of the fault is thrust fault so uh, viewers and listeners it is all about the kohat potwar region and the tectonics of the kohat potwar region uh, i hope you will enjoy enjoy all of these uh, information and i request or i requested all of the students uh, who are starting from this video or uh, who are uh, newcomers so i uh, suggest them please go back and start from the lecture number 1 of uh, my channel so you will get the information uh, completely and watch the all videos for the very valuable information about geology of pakistan in previous lectures uh, i have completed the uh, first section of the subject geology of pakistan that was stratigraphy then you can come to this uh, second part tectonics of uh, pakistan or geology of pakistan so i hope you will enjoy all of this information uh, i will wait for the feedback of the viewers and please tell me about my efforts for the students of geology and professional geologist and i want to convey the importance of geology and uh, subjects related to geology and if you have any question about uh, previous lecture or this lecture so you can contact me or uh, i have mentioned my email address in the description of the videos so i will wait for your feedback thank you